Hi everyone and welcome to the Say As It Is with Pete podcast series. I'm Pete, your host, and each week I will bring you some frank and honest conversations covering various topics from learning and development, friendships, funding, HR, strengths, recruitment, ESG, well-being, EDI, employability, and much, much more. So let's get this week's episode underway and say as it is. Hey, welcome to another episode of Say As It Is with Pete. And as we continue this little mini week series, episode five, well, it's episode 18, but um, episode five in this mini series for National Apprenticeship Week, as we continue to celebrate all things apprenticeships. As we continue the theme, as we've seen, Monday was um, all things apprenticeship, Tuesday was um, employer um, day, Wednesday was apprentice day, Thursday was T level Thursday, um, and today is known as a graduation day. Well, what is graduation day? Graduation day is a chance to celebrate all of the apprentices that are graduating or have recently graduated on their apprenticeships. And for both apprentices to celebrate their achievement from their graduation or the successful completion of their apprenticeship um, and for employers and training providers to showcase um, the amazing success and achievement rates for their apprenticeship programs. Now, I, um, again, I'm going to put a little bit of a twist to this and provide some um, other insightful information because, look, I do see some information or some graduations out there, but I think sometimes it's hard to um, celebrate the graduation uh, Friday event um, because obviously apprenticeships run at a certain duration or a certain time frame. So some are 12 months, um, some are 18 months, some are 24 months, and some are 36 months. Um, so some people aren't on the verge of celebrating their apprenticeships just yet because they haven't achieved them, or they're just on the final run uh, before uh, the celebration. So some people may decide to actually celebrate a little bit early. And don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with celebrating a little bit early, um, but um, it is sometimes a bit difficult. And I admit um, it is a bit difficult to try and show case uh, any recent uh, graduations or celebrations around that element um, that you want to make as relevant and as kind of recent as possible. So it can be a challenge. But when it comes to that challenge, there are other things that you can do. Um, for example, you can celebrate someone's milestone on their a on their apprenticeship and them uh, celebrating a certain point that they've reached. For example, if they've, you know, they're uh, they're overachieving in their apprenticeship, so that that basically means if they are say targeted to be at thirty percent, but they're on fifty five percent, celebrate it. They're ahead. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, if they've achieved their maths or their English or they've, you know, been working really hard on an assignment or part of their diploma and they've achieved it, celebrate it. Celebrate any achievements that they've done with their apprenticeship because that's what, you know, although it's graduation, it should be celebration uh, Friday and celebration Friday should be celebrating all things uh, in regards to achievement, milestones, um, and various other things. So it may be that they're achieving that they become more um, resilient or they've come out of their shell and become more confident. Um, they feel that they've learned um, a lot or actually they're on target where they're off the job hours. Who knows? But I think, uh, you know, Graduation Friday should be renamed uh, to Celebration Friday. Um, or Milestone Friday or whatever it may be, but it, it should be Celebration Friday. And National Apprenticeship Week, uh, in their toolkit, they do give lots of toolkits, uh, information, advice, posts, and, you know, uh, images and graphics that can be used, which is great. So if you're using them and you do have some celebrations and graduations, then, you know, good on you and go for it. But a word to the apprentices it's not just about celebrating your milestones and achievements during National Apprenticeship Week and waiting until that Friday to celebrate it. 
celebrate it as often as you can shout out about your achievement and milestones even if it bugs people in the office you should be doing it now i know there are l d practitioners and apprenticeship um you know, managers or um, apprenticeship leads that oversee the apprenticeships in organizations. And that's fantastic. And they and you guys are having monthly, quarterly uh, updates from the providers. And you should be checking on those reports that you see and you should be celebrating some of those things. Read some of the past reviews or, you know, dive in and have a quick look. It, it's part of your job and it's something you should be doing, um, you know, to get um, any hidden nuggets of celebration out there, you know, maybe that an apprentice has been doing really well and shown some really hard commitment and dedication where they've been behind on their apprenticeship and they've caught up. Celebrate that, you know, but also, you know, celebrate your apprentices on the day. So employers, Go the extra mile. Yes, you've been celebrating apprenticeships. You know, you we've celebrated that apprenticeships are for all and that there's no age limit and anybody can do an apprenticeship. You're celebrating, you know, why you as an employer are the best employers for the apprenticeships that you offer in industry placements. You know, the apprentices have showcased their journeys and their successes um, and what they've gained from their apprenticeship. And we celebrate the T levels. But Give this day as an extra day to really celebrate your apprentices. Give them a gift. Give them, you know, a little um, I don't know, pizza party, I don't know, or, you know, take them out for the day or, you know, give them a fun activity to do that says, we appreciate you as an apprentice in the organization and you are having a massive impact on the business and we love having you. And that's what we should be doing. So although I disagree with the term graduation Friday, I think it should be celebration Friday and we should be, we should be celebrating celebrating all the time and i think we need to be celebrating everything so every apprentice should be celebrating all their achievements and successes uh, rather than just a graduation but there's something you know when we do our apprenticeships i mean i've been on the receiving end from doing an apprenticeship but also delivering apprenticeships and it's always hard when you sit there in a kind of a you know a 12 weekly review or you sit there going well what have you achieved in your apprenticeship and even when you get to um you know, coming up to the, the run of National Apprenticeship Week and, you, and the providers and employees are saying, well, you know, we want to write a piece on you. We want to do a bit on social media and we want to talk about, you know, what you've, you know, you've been successful at, what you feel you've achieved, you've gained from your apprenticeship, you know, and sometimes it can be difficult, especially for an apprentice to sit there and go, well, you know, what have I done? What have I achieved? I know I've done something, but I can't think. Now, what I'm going to suggest is something that I suggested in one of my epi- in my regular episodes of Say As It Is Repeat, um, and that was about New Year's resolutions. Um, and it's about getting a jar. The jar can be a sm- well, not small, but you know, a normal size kind of jam jar or a jar um, with a lid on. Obviously, get yourself an empty jar. Get yourself some post its, um, some little uh, post it notes, and a pen. And every time uh, you feel that you've achieved something within your apprenticeship, whether you have met your off the job hours at a certain point, you had a really successful learning session with your tutors, um, you know, whether you've achieved a project that you've done or something that you feel that is a, that you are proud to have achieved that day, that week, that month, write it on the post-it note, fold the post-it note up and stick it in the jar. Label that jar. um, You can label it if you want as, you know, my achievements. Um, And then, you know, no matter how big or small you think the achievements or milestones are that you've you've done or you, you know, you've accomplished something in work. And it may be that you've um, done something in your day-to-day where that you feel you've accomplished and achieved Put it in the jar because when you go back at the end of the month and you think, what have I achieved this month? Or, you know, if you're reviewing it on a quarterly basis, empty that jar out and go back and see all the things that you've achieved and the things that you've done. And you think, oh, God, I remember that. Oh, yeah. And that's your golden nugget. And that's my top tip is get a jar, nice empty jar, post-it note and a pen. Um, Stick it next to you on your desk. Every time you feel you've achieved something, write it down and stick it in the jar. People may think you're nuts, but you're not, you know, and this isn't a new thing. This is something that's been around for years and years. So I'm not really creating something, you know, new. And I always say 
you know, fads and trends are always done from somebody seeing something that someone else has done and hasn't been seen for a long time. So they, they mention it, they tweet and, you know, TikTok it and everything else, and then it becomes a big fad. But, you know, the, the jar thing has been around for a long time because sometimes you use it for resolutions where you create a jar of achievements and accomplishments or, you know, you, you, you put in there what you've achieved over that year and then review it but you can do the same for your apprenticeship and i think that's a good thing um you can stick it in there even if you you do an off the job jar and anything you think you've learned stick it in the jar because you know if you, even if it's in, in one jar you know you pull it out and you might see well actually that is actually that could be counted as off the job learning <laughs> i can add that bit in oh look i've achieved this this is fantastic and it's a chance to just reflect so try the jar out it may help you um so yeah give it a go but you know this day is all about that you know celebration of uh, uh of apprentices that have achieved or currently achieving or about to achieve but i think employers you need to be shouting more about the milestones of your apprentices and uh, their apprenticeships and apprentices you need to shout more about your achievements and successes um even tutors you know look and providers shout out more there are some amazing apprentices that are doing so well you know there may be someone who suffers with dyslexia or dyscalculus has achieved something amazing on their apprenticeship god damn it celebrate it don't wait to the the blooming you know the, the week of february or the first week of march for scottish apprenticeship week to celebrate that achievement just celebrate it but also then use the jar and go back and celebrate things i'm going about the jar quite a bit i don't know why but yeah the jar idea is a pretty good one but just remember when we celebrate all our apprentices and we're celebrating those achievements it's not just one day in the year it should be every day make sure as an employer that you know when you've got people graduating and what i would also say to employers as well is work quite closely with the providers and make sure that certificates come directly to you that way when you get a certificate you can do the celebration because sometimes the providers will send the certificates directly to the learner and you'll never know you'll never see it but if you get the certificates you can make a big song and dance about it and you should take pictures celebrate it post it all over your social media networks you know tag in the apprentice but make something of it and we need to be doing more of that there need to be more success stories throughout the year not just during apprenticeship week now there is hospitality apprenticeship week coming up either in september october i can't remember the actual dates but it does pop up and again we celebrate all things apprenticeships around hospitality and there this september there's some interesting tea levels coming out for catering and hospitality so i'm quite intrigued to see how that goes and celebrate the starts as well it's not just celebrating who's currently about to achieve um celebrate those that are going on to an apprenticeship you know we should be celebrating at every point to showcase and put apprenticeships at the forefront of all our businesses as i've said in previous podcasts and episodes our apprentices are our hidden talent they are the next generation and the futures to run our businesses there are lots of hidden talent out there and by supporting them and celebrating them in key points of their apprenticeships it gives them that confidence boost and shows that they feel valued and appreciated plus it's also good for their health and well-being so good celebrations happy days you know even that celebration on someone joining the apprenticeship program for the first time or cohort whether you have custom made notepads or water bottles or bags or custom you know memory sticks or pens whatever it may be have a little apprentice pack then great have an apprentice badge that people can identify people with whether it be a little a now i remember uh, i think it was green king um or if it was probably if not it was green king it was a uh, spirit pubs they had a like an a a metal a pin um that the apprentices wore uh so you could identify them as an apprentice um but make it fun you know i remember when i did my old nvqs many 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 years ago i did it with a company called freight train and every time we achieved our level two or level three or level fours we got little pin badges of a plane with 
you know, level two or level three. Um, and that showed that we were trained to that level. And they were kind of fun and great to kind of wear. Um, but yeah, make something of it. Make, uh, you know, celebrate somebody as an apprenticeship ambassador, you know, or a, an apprentice champion with your organization. But what I'm getting at is we need to keep celebrating regardless, whether it's a graduation, whether it's an achievement as part of their qualification, whether they've achieved a part of the diploma for their apprenticeship, whether it be with CIM, with, sorry, uh, CMI, um, whether it's with um, IWFM, whether it's with CIPD, celebrate that as well. And because every point should be celebrated. And yes, celebrate the final completion you know even if an apprentice has you know been nervous and worried about their endpoint assessment and they achieve their endpoint assessment celebrate that endpoint assessment that they've done it you know it's all about making it fun and engaging and apprenticeships yes there's an academic academic level yes it can be long and tire sometimes but make the apprenticeship delivery fun. Yes, you can bespoke a qualification and put lots to it and make it engaging, but also make it fun. Celebrate all the time. And you'll see that that will have a positive impact on the health and well-being of the apprentices and the mindset and culture within the organization. So, Although this is a short episode today, I think it's key just to remember that we should be celebrating every aspect of apprenticeships, not just one day or a year or one week a year. We should be celebrating celebrating it at every opportunity that we get and do it. We should be proud of our apprentices and be proud of those coming through on an apprenticeship or on a T-level qualification if you're supporting with placements. Also this week, I celebrated within my organization having someone on work placement for work experience. Although we had him for a few short days, we had some great fun with him in the business within my team, within the L&D team. So he could see what L&D was like and, you know, how the bigger picture of an organization worked and, you know, the different side from being in the office to being field-based. We also tapped into his strengths and we did a strength scope for him on his early career journey and unlocked his hidden strengths. And then he was able to identify with them and set some new goals and careers and aspirations in terms of what he wants to do and where he wants to go, but also learning how to use his strengths in day to day life. And I'm more than happy to for you guys to reach out to me about StrengthScope and how you can embed strengths within an apprenticeship program um, and how it can benefit apprentices, but also how it can help support during that assessment process. As StrengthScope currently have a StrengthScope interview um, assessment tool as well, which is quite interesting and has just launched. And I'm more than happy to discuss that in another podcast. Or if you want to know more, just reach out to me at pete at creativemind.zone. But enough is enough let the celebrations and the parties continue this friday make sure that if you are a ceo an owner an executive a director a head of department whoever you are go and say hello to those apprentices go and show them that you're proud of them even that slight achievement by going up someone and saying hi how are you just want to say congratulations on your apprenticeship you're doing an amazing job that could make someone's day, someone's week, someone's year. It's those kind gestures and celebrations that make an impact on everybody's lives day to day. As I say, let's continue the celebrations today, Friday, um, the 9th of February, 2024, as we celebrate the 17th celebration of um, graduations and achievements and milestones um, for apprenticeships and T-levels. But let's not forget Although it may be the only day that is nationally recognized as a celebration of apprenticeships, keep celebrating. Keep achieving those milestones and celebrating them. Make your apprentices feel that they are doing an amazing job and that they're achieving every single time and they're going from strength to strength. Now, that's all I'm going to say on this episode as I wind down this um very brief and short podcast the last couple of ones have been quite lengthy and long to about an hour so this one is short and sweet uh, especially for a friday 
Now, don't forget this weekend is Selfie or National Apprenticeship Weekend um, or Selfie Weekend. So it's a chance for apprentices and people to take pictures of themselves and send them out saying, I love apprenticeships and various other things. So have a great time doing that. And there will be an additional bonus episode for the weekend because how can I not go without making the full complete week? Um, all before we get back to normal broadcasting and on different topics on Monday. But again, guys, thank you for listening. And I hope that this podcast has shined a little bit light on ways that you can celebrate and, um, you know, really home in on showcasing apprentices a little bit more in, you know, celebrating every step of their apprenticeship, not just the end, but the start, the middle and everything in between. Again, I've been your host, Pete. It's been a pleasure doing this podcast and uh, the podcast this week for National Apprenticeship Week. Now, remember, you can always go back and listen to this episode and any other episode um, of the Say As It Is With Pete podcast series. But also go back and listen to season one as there are a few episodes in there relating to apprenticeships and apprentices. As I do talk about strengths within apprenticeships, I also talk about apprentice wages and funding fair or not. Uh, And we will be touching back on those over the weekend. So watch out for that kind of little brief updates on those. But again, you can always go and listen back uh, to those episodes on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, rss.com, and wherever you get your podcasts from. And until tomorrow's episode, uh, enjoy the rest of your Friday and the celebrations that are taking place today, the National Apprenticeship Week Celebration or Graduation Day 2024.